good morning but i would just be completely lying it's literally 4 p.m oh man what the hell <laughs> so i'm not gonna lie i'm not having the best time <laughs> i didn't really know like i didn't have anything to film today i when it gets to a certain point in the day and i haven't actually done anything it's sort of just a write-off and I go right well I guess I'm not doing anything today then and that is what I've done today and I'm so mad at myself but I am trying to look at the bigger picture um you know because because we are going through a friggin pandemic yeah I've just been I've had I've had a bit of a rough week I won't lie it's not motivated yeah. I really wanted to get outside and get a bit of fresh air today but the weather is absolutely shocking and um, I haven't got my car until hopefully soon because it's like four o'clock now and yeah and basically what it is two things have happened to me the past week and a bit the first thing is I am currently so for less if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen my Instagram stories and I was like I'm currently fucking sitting on duvets on my living room floor because I haven't got a settee. Long story short, I was meant to get this lovely corner sofa delivered from Dunelm. Um, it was meant to come last Saturday. They were like, yeah, it's still coming, blah, blah, blah. Um, it'll be delivered by the 23rd. The 23rd rolls around and I hear nothing from um, any delivery people. Like, if you're having something of that size delivered, usually they... Um, contact you and say I will be here at this time blah 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 so didn't hear anything and contacted them and they were like oh yeah uh, that seti is actually not in stock like I um, don't know why we sold it to you I was like fucking fabulous um, and to make room for that seti the sofa bed that I was borrowing from Georgia she obviously like came and took that because I was like yeah I have my seti delivered lol just kidding so now I have blankets and cushions on my living room floor which is fine but it's not doing my back any good and won't lie to you and um i'm gonna order a new one but i'm still waiting for my refund from dunelm <sighs> which is an absolute bloody nightmare let me tell you so that was the first thing and then the next thing was my car needed to be mot'd which is fine you know you have a car you need it to be mot'd booked it in it's at the garage blah 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 i get a phone call saying there's like this and that wrong with it it's ended up costing me 337 pounds and it's just not what i need right now i'm not gonna lie to you i need to order another seti but i can't buy another seti until my refund comes in because i haven't got fucking 700 pounds disposable income do you know what i mean Ugh. yeah so i'm getting my car back today which is good at least it's all fixed and safe for me to drive that is the main thing and as soon as my refund comes in for my seti i can buy a new one so maybe it was a blessing in disguise i don't know so literally literally all i've done today is i had breakfast i actually did have a nice breakfast i had avocado and egg on toast um i've been eating like absolute shit i have been not moving and eating like shit so that was nice <laughs> i've eaten some of this this morning by the way there's bangs so hard and i'm just waiting for my car because i need to do a little bit of food shopping and i'm gonna make um a nice little pasta recipe later i'm actually gonna do a recipe that i saw on one of olivia neal's videos so yeah sometimes sometimes when i film it it just brings my mood up and it motivates me so that's what i thought i would do today i know myself when i get into these moods i need to do something to bring my mood up and i'm not gonna get that by sitting on my ass doing nothing so 
What I'm going to do is tidy up and do a little food shop later, make a nice dinner and have a relaxing evening. Yeah. Third coffee of the day. Chin chin. This is my little setup at the minute in the living room. <laughs> and this is all the stuff I need to find homes for at some point. <sighs> it's a little bit later. I finally got my car back. Basically, my neighbour works at a garage and my other neighbour next door uh, recommended him for like car stuff. So that's cool. So he dropped my car around for me just a minute ago. So I'm going to pop out to the shop. My outfit's hilarious. I've got this hoodie on from H&M. These like flared joggers from Zara. And my leather coat. A few inches later. I'm back. I bought this. I shouldn't be allowed to go shopping on my own. I've seen this on... Oh, my toast is ready. I've seen this on literally like every American film, TV show ever. And I've always wanted to try it and it was on the clearance section in Lidl. And I mean, fuck it. So um, I'm starving, but before I do dinner, I need to like clear up and stuff. So I'm gonna have a snack <laughs> of, you guessed it, peanut butter and grape jelly on toast. Cause it like fully can't open it at the minute. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's weird though, it didn't like pop like a normal jar. Do they just not do that? Whoa! I'm very excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. Let me get a little, a little plate. I've only got the crusts left. Who else is just not a big fan of the crust? Also, what do you call this? Cause I just call it the crust, but I know loads of people have different names for it. boot up. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's thick. She thick. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh. My guess is that the actual peanut butter part is going to be really sugary, like Reese's. Mmm. I mean, of course it's tasty. Mm. I look knackered. In desperate need of putting some tan on. Um... It's definitely not the same day. It is a few days later. I've just been out to get some bits, like kitchen roll, boring things like that. But I'm not gonna lie, the like I sort of just stopped filming for a couple of days. I had the worst anxiety attack I've had in a long time. And I woke up at 3 a.m. and didn't sleep again all night and it was really really shit and if you follow me on instagram you saw um that i posted it. but by the way though side note and saw like the most amazing sunrise i put a video on instagram i'll insert it um it was incredible um and i put a question box up asking like what you guys do when you're feeling anxious or what you do to combat anxiety um and loads of them were really really helpful so if you're one of those people thank you so much i already said this on instagram but yeah they were really really helpful um so apart from that i've just been trying to get myself together like bloody hell what is going on but yeah i'm just gonna have a chill one today i think i might put some of my artwork that i have up on my wall i say artwork it's just like decennio prints but you know what i mean um because i've got loads of command strips and loads of prints there's just nothing on my bedroom walls yet and i i don't know if the prints i have are necessarily what i want on there forever but i think i want to put something up there just for now anyway because it's really plain um and also soon i'm gonna go and get my like shelves and stuff my floating shelves to go in my living room etc but but that's for another day um but yeah that's what i'm gonna do today and Let's just see where the rest of the day takes me. This is what you look like when you've been dancing to old Avril Lavigne songs for like an hour. Anyway, it's getting dark, but I'm going to get my pictures that I want to put up. Basically, there's this like this corner of my living room which has pictures, plants and stuff that are going to go on the wall and on like floating shelves and stuff when I actually get around to doing that. But the minute, it's just here. So pictures for the bedroom i think i definitely want to use the new york one where's the other big one i have another big one but it's pink where is that hold up okay they were literally behind my bedroom door but i couldn't see them because 
I um, never close my bedroom door because of this bedside table. Basically, I'm going to get a new bedside table that is thinner and doesn't block off, you know, the ability to close the door. It's more the leg than anything that's in the way. And then, yeah, the room looks so much bigger when the door is closed, but that's not possible at the minute. I literally always have full bloody washing basket. Anyway, I found them. I have this little cactus fella. I had like a pink thing going on um before that's where this bedding's from but i do actually really want to incorporate some green in this room i mean i have a plant there and a plant that i need to hang up possibly we'll do that um later as well are these two gonna look dumb if they just hang up like that i think they're gonna look okay okay so i got a bit carried away the measuring tape is to check i'm not doing it like too long but i think I'm going to do something like this on my wall. I might do it without these and then see how I feel or maybe just add this one. What a wonderful What a wonderful ignore that this one is a little bit wonky i need to turn that somehow i literally just can't be bothered to um measure things so <laughs> i just always just do it by eye and it ends up a little bit off but it's fine so i ended up just putting one of those there i don't know if i like it but no i do it is cool oh it looks cute in the mirror as well yeah i like it these joggers are hilarious Okay, now I'm going to try and attempt to hang a hanging plant. So this is what I'm hanging. I've had this for the longest time. This is just one of those um, Ikea hanging plants that I feel like everyone and their mother has. Look how dusty it is in there. Um, and then this little gold hangy pot I actually got from HomeSense like two years ago, maybe even more than that, but I really like it. Let me just show you. So it's like this sort of <laughs> you'll see and then i found these command hooks now i watched a youtube tutorial because i didn't i didn't know how i was going to attach like a hanging thing to the ceiling and when you rent you can't um well you can if you like drill a hole or anything you need to cover it up but just to be on the safe side i just decided to get a command thing and it swings out so that it hangs out from the ceiling and uh yeah, I managed to find mine Tesco with all the other command stuff, so it's really easy. Um, yeah. So I'm going to attach that now. <laughs> Eventually. Ah, they do look cute. I love how I have to... <clears throat> what? I love how I've had to put the light on and it's like 2pm. <sighs> Let's have a sit down. Anyway, I didn't say um, goodbye yesterday, so here I am saying goodbye. I'll show you my plant that I hang. There he is. It looks a bit bare with just this hanging there. I don't know. That's just what I did at the minute. It's so echoey in here without a seti. But good news, it's actually coming tomorrow when I'm finishing filming this. It's actually Thursday. But yeah, my seti is coming tomorrow and I'm so excited. I will show you it in the vlog soon. Um, and I'll probably show it to you on my Instagram first, knowing me. <laughs> But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.